cleaning spills out of your carpet, no easy task. Yeah, there are sometimes uh, to skip it yourself and call the experts. Different spots may require different cleaning methods, but regardless of the substance, there's no time to wait. If you discover a stain on your carpet, you want to act quickly, but don't be too hasty. You want to make sure you're using the right tools. Use a dry, clean cloth and blot. Don't rub in the stain, otherwise it might lead to a lasting stain. Blood can be one of the trickiest things to get out. If the blood has uh, coagulated and started to clump, you'll want to take a spoon or a very dull type of instrument, a butter knife, something of that nature, and remove it first and then start to blot it out with a soap and water solution. Use cold water for blood stains, but Swinson recommends a cup of warm water mixed with a quarter cup of dishwashing liquid for just about everything else. There's also another trick when dealing with a spilled glass of red wine. Red wine can be one of the toughest stains, but it can be solved. So what you need to do is first blot the spot where the red wine has been spilt. And then if you actually sprinkle some white wine on top of the red wine, you'll improve your chances of getting that spot out. For deep stains that seep through the padding, especially pet urine, blotting and cleaning will only do so much. Obviously, you won't be able to get all of it that way. Uh, the best way to do it is to use an extractor of some sort. Uh, a little small hand extractor can save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars in uh, carpet uh, cleaning. All right, small spot lifters start at around 100 bucks, but you can expect to may pay more for some extra power. If you really want to try yourself, test your home remedy on a small area of carpet that isn't easily seen. Oh, such hard work, though. Getting